Oh man, something's definitely broken in here. Ah, dang it, I broke another tie rod. God, after installing these new 37 inch tires, these tie rods break all the time. There's gotta be a way to fix this. Let's see the owner's manual. Check behind the back seat of the truck next to the jack. There should be a Nature Valley breakfast bar. This will be used to strengthen your tie rods. All those stupid Nature Valley bars are stronger than factory GM tie rods. Use the super glue provided. There's no way. There's nothing down here. All right, let's give it a shot. That's right, the new 37 inch tires. These were a little sneak peek in the last video. Now tied down and ready to go over to Shane's. Uh, I'd be super comfortable installing the fender flares on this vehicle if it wasn't so intimidating. The problem is all the videos I've looked up, people are showing me that there is a very lengthy process here. You have to cut out a bunch. And even with an experienced mechanic, this can take up to eight hours just to put fender flares on. That's crazy. Now the problem with this truck is, well, one thing, we have a bunch of dents everywhere. This one actually, a, a portion of this is gonna be either cut out or covered by those new fender flares. And with this one up here, the tabs are a little busted, so it just does not stay in with the truck. So it's gonna be nice to get all that fixed on the ZR2, but that's gonna have to wait for next video. Two videos though from now, we're gonna be going over my next race car build. I've been leading you guys on for so long about that. I promise you it's coming before Christmas. I'll get that video out. You guys will know what my summer build is going to be. And this is the first time I'm not nervous about what the car is going to be because I feel like the majority is gonna love it. Yet again, standing in front of what is going to be the new jump out here, just so terrifying, I cannot believe it. I was gonna be the first one to do it just to take the pressure off a of mic. I just, I don't think that's gonna be able to happen. There's no way. I'll do it in the F-150, my F-150 down there because it's junk and uh, hopefully I don't have to be in it. That way I can just send it, not have to worry about breaking things because that ramp is just terrifying. This is a weird video. It's not about the truck. I'm not leading you guys on. I don't want you to think I'm just gonna show you the empty plot of land where my home's gonna go. The home isn't built, but I have pictures of what it's going to look like. It's pretty insane just because growing up, I was satisfied with just like a three bedroom, two bath house. And now what I get to build, I don't wanna brag or anything because the home isn't that insane, but it's just, it's something I've always wanted. My parents' home uh, had like a big overlook into the, to the living room. So I'll show you guys what our house is going to look like here, but very excited to have a extremely talented contractor that's gonna be building it for us. So we couldn't be any more happy. So a walk down the grotto lane here in 2021. Let me fast forward you to what this property is going to have on it probably in the next year. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. 717 headquarters here with this brand new Z06 C7 and the Ford F450 any level build. These two builds are absolutely insane. You get the double set of tires on this one, a little more modern to keep your care and neighbors happy. And of course, the classic one that came with this. If you were to be driving this F450 and this Z06 in Santa sleigh red by Christmas morning, enter down in the description right now, times five entries by buying something as simple as this detail spray or a sticker and even a key tag. The more money you spend, the more entries you get. So if you want to buy something like one of my shirts, we have the Secure by AR-15 and also the Christmas edition with all the weapons on there. One of the holiday limited editions we're launching here at InChain Designs. And of course, the classics like the LGB hoodie and the bakery AK. Also some uh, political stuff here. We have political stuff across the entire spectrum. So if you're offended by that, there's something on the opposite side of the aisle on our website that will definitely appeal to you. Binford tools, hearing loss may occur. Pull to eject key tags. These things are insane quality. And our shirts are all screen printed right here in the US. I never win anything. That's exactly what the last winner said. I want to see you driving this Ford and this Chevy by Christmas morning. Times five entries will not last, so now's your best time to enter. Don't miss out, change your life. I've been wanting to get a bigger house for so long. I'm surprised I haven't been made fun of in the comments about like how small my house is, because you guys can see it. Like it's a very, very small house that I live in. I bought this whenever I was 23, I think, 24. Uh, so I've definitely outgrown it. We're to the point now where we need a bigger house. So without further ado, here is 
my new home. So the front here, what we're gonna go with, the siding and all that's gonna be different, the stone wall, like it, it's gonna be a lot different looking and gonna be a lot better than what you see in this picture. Uh, this left side of the house here to the left of the picture is the garage. I love it whenever homes are able to incorporate the garage to make it look like part of the house. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it's not a front facing garage since the doors are on the side, it makes the house look bigger and you can have these decorative windows to match the rest of the house. What this picture is missing though, is the fact that the garage is gonna be in an L shape. So on the left side of the home here, you're gonna have two more garage doors, oversized garage doors. So we're gonna have a three car garage in the garage, it's in the house itself. And then over here to the left is going to be another, uh, it's gonna be a four bay oversized car garage where I can just do work. Probably gonna put in a lift or a pit, one of those two things um, at a pit in my old house where I grew up with my dad. That's where he redid his 68 Camaro and it just made it a whole lot easier to do work on the car. Uh, I was way too young to have experienced that, but I knew as a kid, like he was always down there working on the cars um, and it just made it super easy. The only drawback is if you have kids, that is definitely a hazard to have a gaping hole in the middle of your garage. So onto the rest of the house here, we'll get back to the garage in a minute. You walk into the open foyer here uh, and this is cool because you go right up the stairs, you have your dining room over to the left. And what's neat about this home is there's actually three staircase here. So you see how this, well, two staircase rather, where you have the staircase in the foyer and then a staircase in the living room. These both marry up and meet in the middle. And then that takes you up to the upstairs. The living room's off to the left. And this is sort of like a hybrid hallway, but also an extension to your living room. So I love the open floor plan here. We're going to have a gas fireplace, which I guess is convenient from the flip of a switch. You don't have to go and light a fire. Uh, I kind of like like the wood burning fireplace just because it's like I could go outside, grab certain types of wood and put it into the fireplace and fire it up. But gas is just nice and convenient. Um, not going to be as cheap, but it's going to be cheaper in the long run since we don't have to have repairs done on the chimney or someone have to come out and chimney sweep it, stuff like that. And I worry about the kids and it's all enclosed. So gas fireplace going in there in the living room. And as you can see, the living room is going to have this huge ceiling uh, that goes the whole way up to the roof. And then the magnum opus, like the crown jewel of this home, it's something I've always been dreaming of, is an overlook into the living room. I love this. My wife, thank God, loves this too because it's a deal breaker with me on homes and doesn't seem like that many do it. So I might be a little bit behind when it comes to styling. Maybe this is going out of style or never was in style. But the look over into the living room, just I, I love that. It seems to just open everything up. Uh, whenever I was a kid, especially, I remember I would run out of my bedroom on Christmas morning and I was able to look down into the living room from sort of like a, it's like an open hallway, like a double wide open hallway up where the bedrooms were upstairs. And I could look down into the living room and I would see the tree and all the presents there. And I would just love for my kids to be able to enjoy that. Plus you get these huge ceilings so you can put a bigger Christmas tree in the living room. Um, and not that this is all focused on like how Christmas morning is going to go or the Christmas season, but it's definitely a huge plus to have that high ceiling and uh, the overlook. I just feel like for the aesthetic, um, parties, all that stuff, it's going to be really great. Of course, huge windows in this room for a lot of light and you can see back in sort of the kitchen there. Uh, so the kitchen in this house, uh, we're going to kind of take out, you see how there's this table here, We're gonna, that's going to be removed and it's going to just be sort of an oversized kitchen and then that door is going to get moved down. Uh, making some custom adjustments to this house is going to be a lot of fun because the model that you see here isn't perfect uh, in our eyes. So our home is going to be stretched width-wise and uh, length-wise to just increase the square footage of the home. Just because the area we're building in, uh, it's so we're going to be surrounded by so many big homes that it, we kind of have to build a bigger house. Uh, not that I don't mind that, but it's just we kind of have to just because if we ever wanted to sell one day, it's going to be really difficult if we have this pipsqueak little 2,000 square foot home. Not that that's even small, but you're going to need at least 3,000, 3,500, even 4,000 just to fit in around uh, these other neighbors that we're in. I'll flip through the rest of the house here because I know that we're kind of, this is a car YouTube channel. I'm not an interior designer. Um, so just a couple bedrooms here. Here's the upstairs view of the foyer. I would love to make this like viewing area, whatever you want to call it, this hallway a little bit bigger. That'd be pretty cool because in my old house, like I keep going back to it was easily three or four times the width of this little narrow hallway that we have. So that'd be cool to expand that out and just make the view that you have from up here just that much better. And then of course the master bedroom, don't know if we're going to get fireplace inside the master. That's just, that's up in the air because it's going to get to a point where it's like, this home's already way out of my budget. Like I'm not killing it on YouTube in any means. Uh, so this is this home is already out of our budget. I'm gonna be tied down to this house for quite some time, but uh, the fireplace in the bedroom would be pretty baller. I'm not gonna lie. Plus the two-step ceiling there, of course, 
And then they have like track that runs around on the two step on the inside there. They put like rope lighting around and then that you can like adjust with a uh, adjustable switch to have it go like dim or bright, whatever. So it really sets the mood in the master bedroom, which of course is going to be massive. Uh, there's rooms that I want to focus on in this home. Uh, aside from the garage, it's the living room. Of course, your bathrooms, master and kitchen. But then the basement is going to be pretty spectacular as well. But I'll show you guys some pictures here of what I would like for the garage to look like. And what you can see is off in the corner here, we have some like Dewalt tools or whatever tools. I don't know what generic picture I was able to find, but they have the tools all organized on like a uh, pegboard. And I like the idea of that just for the aesthetic reasons, because it's it's very organized. It's all displayed. It'd be really cool to have um, my favorite brand is Makita, uh, but I'd be down for all the major tool brands. Anything I can get my hands on would be nice, but to have all matching tools up there, all displayed. And like, you just kind of have the guys come out, grab a beer out of the beer fridge. And they look over and see all of your, uh, like the impacts, uh, hammer drills, the circular saws, any dr any tool you can think of uh, is up on the cork board or the, uh, or the pegboard rather. And, uh, but it, you're, it's sort of a dilemma. It's like, do you display your tools out like this where they're easy to get to, or do you put them inside of a toolbox? Cause it would also be nice to just have like the monstrous snap on toolbox, even though that's more meant for, meant for like wrenches and, and screwdrivers and stuff like that. It's mostly going to be just so in the winter time, I can have a place to work on some projects, you know, where I'm warm, I'm protected from the elements. I'm not outside of my driveway or doing something stupid just to have a really nice, clean garage where the wife can park her vehicle. The guys can come out, we can hang out. I'd also like to hear some pointers down in the comments because I'm sure there's a couple viewers out there or even contractors who have run into uh, homes like this or, or they've built homes rather. And it's like, Hey, I would have done this and not this. So anything I've mentioned here, if you guys want to give me like some, uh, tips or be like, Hey, maybe steer clear of this or that. Definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm super excited for this house. The content is going to be just through the roof. I don't have to worry about going out and being embarrassed because the neighbors are staring at me. They're always out in the front yard, just looking at me as I'm yelling at a camera in my hand, uh, facing my truck. So aside from that, we also get to get away from Karen, although bless her because the views that she has generated have been fantastic. About to be a new homeowner away from this one, thank God, in probably about a year, we'll see. Uh, we have a family contractor, I believe I mentioned earlier in the video, that he is going to be building the home for us. Super talented. I've seen his work, and I've worked for him in the past, was employed for him for a while, and uh, he just, he's very meticulous, so I I'm, I'm, cannot wait because... It's like having a good mechanic or a doctor in the family almost. You get to go to them and ask them questions. You're reassured because you know that you're going to be taken care of because the person that you hired uh, is 100% through and through. So follow me on Instagram, rfracing717. Uh, I have a bunch of different stuff and there's a bunch of like leaks that go to Instagram before YouTube. So uh, make sure you follow that. It should be down in the description. If you guys made it this far in the video, say built in the comments for the new home build. Uh, this is sort of a weird video. I could definitely see it flopping because... God only knows uh, what car people want to watch whenever I'm just sitting and talking about my home. But that's my house. What you guys have seen, it's not going to be too much different than the pictures. So pretty cool. Likes are always appreciated. So if you guys wouldn't mind just slapping a like on this video, it helps out a ton. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. So close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're not already with notifications on, it helps out uh, way more than just liking the video. So if you guys can do both of those, I really appreciate it. 50,000 subscribers launching the 37 inch tire installs. Uh, so that's going down. That video will be released the moment that I hit 50,000 subscribers. I think we're like 500 or 600 short. So make sure you do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.